Some of the highest paying jobs in the United States now didn't exist a generation ago. And that includes positions at companies like Google and Facebook. What the future has in store is anybody's guess, but in today's school spotlight, Delane Cleveland shows us how teachers at Jackson Middle School are preparing students for the jobs of tomorrow. Ready to do some chemistry? Yeah. yeah, we are. Thank you very much. Learning and fun aren't always synonymous with one another. Oh no! But when a school day involves activities where you mix chemicals that turn into foamy substances, chances are that your perception of school can quickly change. When you're dealing with sixth through eighth graders, experiential learning is is most engaging for our kids. That's the mindset at Jackson Middle School. It's a specialty school in the Anoka Hennepin School District for math and science, where you'll find aspects of math and science in places you'd least expect. Not only do kids do math and science in their math and science class, they're even doing it in some of their other classes at, from an inquiry standpoint or an investigative standpoint in art or in music or in things like English and social studies. With an enrollment of nearly 2,200 students, Jackson Middle School is even bigger than some high schools. We've stopped taking open enrollment students right now because we just don't have the space or the, or the capacity. For the students enrolled here, the goal is to provide every one of them with skills that will prepare them for careers that may not even exist yet. We're going to go to the moon instead. One way to do that is by placing students in groups rather than rows and columns to help them collaborate with one another. Do you know how to collaborate? Do you know how to work together in a team to solve a problem? Are you curious? Are you, uh, are you critically thinking? Can you take something that you may not have the answer to, but do more research on it and not give up? What do you use yeast for? In other words, the expectation isn't that every student here will end up in a career in math or science. Absolutely. You can't. We don't need everybody in math and science. Free the meniscus, that's that curve. But at the very least, the students will have the tools to be successful in whatever they choose. We need to prepare for the jobs that are going to be there eight, nine years from now. Yet for the students who are interested in math and science, then things are going to get interesting. The school provides them three, with plenty of resources. Take, for instance, the fact that they have an on-campus observatory that teachers integrate into the curriculum. He can take kids into the classroom, give them a virtual ride in the planetarium to Mars and, and or, or Saturn or whatever it is, and then go up into the observatory and actually see the actual planets that they just got done talking about and engaged in. It's a school with endless learning possibilities that will help students as they transition to high school and beyond. That's what our teachers do, and they do it really well at Jackson Middle School. At Jackson Middle School, Delane Cleveland, CCX News. One of the challenges of a school with nearly 2,200 students is trying to make the students feel connected. But Jackson Middle School has a variety of after-school activities students can join to help them meet classmates with similar interests.